everybody welcome back to my channel I'm so glad to have you here thank you for like sharing and subscribing my videos um, and thank you for watching and taking time out of your day all right so if you guys would like a private reading with me you can email me at the email I linked below or you can reach me at facebook.com slash hippie chick tarot for more information all the information you need is right there okay so we're gonna kick it old school this month and we're gonna use four tarot decks and we're gonna cover our four sections like we used to do um, and that is career and finances, and then love and home life, and then your challenge, you know, what actions you need to take. And then we're going to move into the spirit message with air. So um, let's get started. Um, I'm so happy to have you. Let's jump right in. I'm going to randomly pick one of the signs to be the first to get their video recorded, edited, and uploaded. Okay, so this one. Let's see who got it. Pisces. Pisces congratulations all right everybody enjoy your reading Taurus hello and welcome to your September Terrascope for 2017 and I'm just shuffling your cards you had to come out already but I figured I'd record anyway and just talk to you guys okay so just what I wanted to tell you is that I'm from now on gonna do the sign that has the most views is gonna go first every month you know the following month so for this month for September when the month is up and I'm doing the videos for the next month like three quarters of the way through um, whoever has the most views is I'm going to do them first and then that's how it's gonna be from then on but I wanted to tell you guys that because Taurus is always some of my highest viewed videos as a matter of fact my highest viewed all-time video um, was Taurus and they only beat Aries out by like 15 views and it was um I think it was like 4,000 views so it was like you know just by a hair but <laughs> Taurus is always very very high views on my readings okay so well that's some pretty intense cards already isn't it <laughs> all right so now we're gonna work on your challenge section Hope you guys are doing well. Hi to all my loyal Taurus people that I've had forever. Love you guys. How you doing? Um, if you guys haven't checked out uh, Hippie Chick Tarot page, I post some stuff there that I don't obviously post on YouTube, but um, I do like little dailies sometimes, and I'll do like, uh, sometimes I just read photos and stuff like that. So you can check, check me out there and see what that's all about. And I also post all the video updates there, too, so be sure to check that out. All right. Ooh. You guys got this card, too, so I'm going to set that as a side note there because it, actually it was here. So we're, we're just going to go. We're going to go with it. We're going with it, Taurus. All right. Now, let's see. I'm using four decks. If you're wondering why I'm doing all that, is because I want to allow for doubles because sometimes, you know, different things cross aspects in our life. And, um, you know, I want, I don't want to exclude cards from coming up if a message needs to be told. So I'm using four decks. This is what I used to do in the beginning days of my YouTube. And this is exact readings I used to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Some of you will remember. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Taurus. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, so I just want to take a look for a second, okay? Um, okay. So in your career and finances, okay, we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is like impatient, okay? Um, the Nine of Swords is kind of like up and nervous. So it's like impatient but nervous, impatient but nervous. Like maybe one minute you think something's going to go one way and then you feel good about it and you're like, yes, finally, you know, I'm going to get what I want with either, you know, and in regards to how you make your money, how you bread, butter your bread, you know what I mean? And then it's like your work and other times will just have you uh, like pissed off, okay? 
um, like to the point where it's not even worth the, the mental torment. <laughs> okay. Um, there might be, someone might be at your work be making some empty promises to you, Taurus. Somebody could be telling you one thing and, and completely kind of being shallow and not, not following through. But see, these are things that matter to you. This is, this is something that, that you really care about. Um, and it seems you're working with somebody that, or you're working for somebody, or maybe there's new management, um, maybe there's new um, people involved, uh, new structure involved, okay, or something like that, where it's, it's, you're having to deal with someone who's, like, impatient, coming in, maybe they're pulling at you too hard, maybe they're expecting way far too much for you, but then not giving you the support you need to, to, accomplish the their desires it's kind of like someone who doesn't have it all together themselves yet expecting a lot out of you okay um a little bit of an unreliable feeling with your career and finances this month it's kind of like you're going to be going through a little bit of shit <laughs> okay it's like oh you might be dealing with vain people like people that are you know what I'm talking about? This Knight of Wands, and Knight of Wands doesn't always play to this for me because there's aspects of the Knight of Wands that is like you want that to show up. Um, but this, the, with this combo, it's kind of like a very sh shallow person, a person that means well but never really follows through or somebody who doesn't want to hurt your feelings but doesn't, you know, sugarcoats it and then doesn't get back to you or something like that. It's like, you know, or comes up to you, expects a whole bunch and then never checks to, and you did all this work and you did, and then the, like no appreciation. It's like kind of like that, like a, like a very, like a vain, unreliable person. Okay. But they might be throwing authority around. Like, you know, they might've just gotten this authority and now they're throwing it around like they own the place, like that kind of feeling. So you're either dealing with this with somebody else, or this is going to come up with, um, your work coming under some kind of, um, there's some kind of authority issue at work, okay? Let's move on to your home and love, your home life and love section, okay? With water. This is the sun card and the death card, okay? Um, the thing about this that's funny is um, that it's kind of like that's how it's supposed to go. Okay, like not exactly in this order, but like it, the tarot progresses this way. So when it comes up like this, it's like, it almost tells me it's not flowing like that. Like there's two things going on here. Okay, it's kind of like two separate stories because it didn't fall in the way that the story is told. Okay, and so for me, it's kind of like one part of it is good and the other part is like needs a change. And another part of it is kind of like there's something new going on. There's a huge transformation happening. Um, and there's something that you, you know, it's something that you, that has to do with your home too, I feel like. I feel like you are, um, some of you might be having to deal with home renovations, okay? But it's gonna get better, okay? Because we got the sun there. But this is a different story. The sun is like, different story. Um, so it's like, you, there's one part, and it might be a relationship, it might be, um, you know, love and romance for you that's doing really good, but, you know, you got a lot of work going on at home, or the vice versa, but I feel like the death card is about transforming your home in some way, transforming your, um, the structure of your home, you could be building onto your home, you could be fixing a foundation, fixing a leaky basement, you could be rebuilding, you could be, um, putting a fourth bedroom on, you could be doing, you know, something like that. Redecorating, re-landscaping, you know, it's something that has to do with, but you're doing it, it's like a fast transformation. It seems like you're doing it pretty quickly. Um, but there's, you know, as far as love goes and as far as um, interpersonal relationships go, it's, it's like they're either getting better or transforming and then going to get better, okay? Um, but it seems like, Maybe there's some people in your life this month that are going to shine for you that you haven't maybe really been close to lately. Maybe that you haven't um, had a good 
a good vibe with lately and that it's kind of bringing you some energy that that is re reassuring for you especially if it's family relationships because it's going to have that feel good to it okay it's going to feel good and it's going to feel healed okay healing is good all right now let's get to your uber complicated <laughs> challenge <laughs> okay so with your challenge let me move these up so you can see okay so with your challenge you have strength Six of Cups, which is fond, you know, fond memories uh, with, um, you know, it's your past. The Six of Cups is your past, your emotions that are tied to your past, okay? And uh, then you have Seven of Cups, which is the, ca the card of illusions and choices and cloudiness and not uns unsure and um, not wanting to, it's treading carefully. It's not wanting to make a mistake, but also being a little impulsive and not being sure about that and like not wanting to make the wrong choice. And, you know, either you're going to get riches or you're going to get bit, you know, kind of thing. So it's kind of like you got a lot of energy going on here. Strength with your challenge it, as a challenge, strength would be, um, catching more bees with honey than vinegar so it's like don't run your mouth just try to go you know try to it's almost like a little bit of a manipulation but not in a uh you're manipulating type of feel it's it's you're manipulating the energy to be beneficial for everyone kind of feeling you know um it's like taming the lion it's it's knowing just how to do what you're trying to do here okay and so as a challenge, this could be telling you you're going about things the wrong way. Maybe you need to take a softer approach or try to understand, have have understanding beyond your own personal perspective, and you'll be able to have a better understanding of why things are going on the way that they're unfolding for you. Um, and this might be do it to do uh, because the challenge section is you know anything that's a challenge for you, okay? And you have some pretty you have some pretty. Uh, we'll call them vibrant cards here. You have some pretty intense cards. So with the past coming up, it's kind of, kind of, first, first with the strength, this could be this, this person you're dealing with. It's like, maybe you have to, maybe getting frustrated and pissed off is not the way to broach that. Maybe you're going to get the best results with them by, um, you know, you have to feel it out for each individual situation. But for instance, somebody who's vain and is very, you know, try um, getting what you want by, you know, being praise, praising them because that's obviously what they crave, right? They're ego people. And so when you're dealing with ego people, if you satiate the ego, it kind of dissipates, right? So it's not the best. It's like enabling in a way. But when it comes to your job, it's not your job to fix your boss's lives and their personal lives and their mental health and all that. It's, it's about making it fair and even and happy and cohesive so you can make your money and you can go home or you can do your business and you can be on your way and so it's like don't keep going back to the same reactions you have to have a different reaction okay um try to you know because even if you don't like that person and you don't want to praise them it's like if you just say you know be like you know i feel like i haven't gotten a lot of support for you but from you but you know i I know your time is valuable. You're very busy, but you know, or just be like ego boosting a little bit, but this is feeling like that's how you have to be to get, to get anywhere. Otherwise you're just going to keep being frustrated. So you kind of have to approach this person in a different way. Okay. Don't be deceitful. That's not what I'm saying at all. Don't get that message. But what I'm saying is, is some people respond to some things differently. And there's other kinds of people than, than you're normally used to that respond to in a completely different way because you don't know what that person was raised like, you know? So then we have six of cups where your past is coming up. Okay. So it's like your challenge is maybe you're stuck dreaming about a past love. Maybe you're stuck dreaming about what would have been, uh, you know, this could be you dreaming of having a child. Maybe you're challenged with having a child. Maybe, um, your relationship now is challenged a little bit due to issues that happened in the past. So maybe that's a challenge that's going to come up this month and you're going to work through that. But again, I feel like your relationships are, are doing pretty good and transform. If they're not doing great, they're going to transform a little bit in September for you and come out with something a little more beautiful for you. Um, and then your other challenge is making decisions. Seeing through the illusion is really big. Okay. Really, really big. And, um, so you might have a have difficulty trying to pick the right thing for
for every that will make everybody happy. Sometimes I feel like this is like an overwhelmed card, okay? And it's kind of like you have to make decisions, but you have to make so many for everybody that it's kind of like it's all on you if something goes wrong and that's a lot of pressure. So um, I'm feeling like that is, you know, one aspect of the Seven of Cups card. But another one could be that you're too stuck in the past to be able to, you know, you're, you're making decisions for your future based on your past and it's kind of like choosing blindly based on your experience instead of seeing everything as new okay um and then for your spirit message we have the devil and the knight of swords so it's like you are like <laughs> it's like don't run away and and don't even let your thoughts run away that's kind of what this card is feeling it's like your thoughts are running away from from the things in your past that hurt you okay that your 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 thoughts are trying to avoid dealing with things that keep you down. The things that you do that keep yourself down, we all do them. Uh, it's it's like your thoughts are kind of fleeting from that, and you're trying to avoid. This is like avoiding, okay? But you really need to like make it like this and be like put that in the past, and then like go head on, okay? So we're just gonna leave it like that because that's what you need to do. That's the purpose for watching tarot readings, is that there's a million different possibilities here. This is your future, okay? But it can go in a million different ways. And it's my job to kind of translate it for you. But we can also manipulate these energies by saying, okay, now that we know about this, we're going to face these things when they come up. And this could be like something from your past coming up this month and you uh, not being able to, you know, it's like an illusion. Like you, you're still stuck on something from the past. You're still stuck on a way of thinking, stuck in a... A different job stuck in you know when you made more money and you were in charge or stuck when um, you know in a relationship from the past and you still have illusions about that and so you make your decisions for the future based on the possibilities of illusions okay um, but this is kind of like facing those things and dealing with them so that you can just like clear it all out and just like move on this path you know the better path the brighter path and leave this kind of shit behind. You can solve this with this. Okay, so that's your challenge. That's what's gonna solve your work issues with these vain people or the people that are pissing you off at work that are, you know, it just seems like you're dealing with a lot of assholes at work. And you're dealing with a lot of stress, stress and pressure too. The pressure is like more than you can handle and it's like, it's, it's just the expected, you know, the norm and it's not okay. And it's really kind of wearing you down. Okay, um, so when it comes, when things come up for you from your past or certain behaviors or patterns that are kind of like impeding your life now, but it's what you've always done, it's like you really have to reevaluate and think and face that head on and say, what can I do? Why am I sticking with this if it's not working for me just because I always have? And is it, has it turned into something that I've come to depend on the punishment from or because that's what I know and it's most familiar? Or am I ready to, like, you know, make my whole life go here? Because when the sun shows up, it's in your life. All you have to do is, you know, oh, the sunlight spreads, you know. Um, so you, you have to be willing to, to cast the light right on your shadows, you know. And when you do that and you work through them and you see it for what it is without making excuses for it, without saying I can't, without saying but, without any of that bull crap and just be honest with yourself, and you face it head on, it'll be like resolved. And then you'll immediately get like elevated to the next level with with your life, your whole life, everything. You'll feel better at work. Your attitude will be better. You'll have uh, better interpersonal relationships. Uh, your home life will be happier and more relaxing and more like a sanctuary, you know. You'll be able to decipher what's in the past and, and what lessons you learned from it and move on from it instead of not learning the lessons and dwelling in it and being illusionary and not being able to move forward or make decisions because of bad shit that's happened to you in the past. So you're timid and you can leave that fear behind, okay, because that's a challenge. And you just face it head on because that's what spirit wants you to know. That's the answers to your challenge. Sorry that was a long one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it, Taurus. That was your reading. And I hope you have a wonderful end of your summer. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.